Hello again. This is again, it's Jimmy speaking to you from his home in North Fort Myers. Lots of people here in Florida are no birds. They come down uh, south in the winter, then they go back north in the back north in the spring. What happens is six months down the line, they come back here, here to Florida, and they find that the plants have died because of lack of TLC, lack of watering, maybe, lack of feeding, lack of pesticides, etc. However, today I'm going to tell you about a class of plants that don't need a lot of TLC, a lot of care. And this is the class of plants called succulents and cacti. These store water and food in the fleshy leaves and stems. You only need your neighbour possibly to come in once a month, half a cup of water, and that is all that they need. Right, when I say that, if you over water these, the roots become saturated, waterlogged, and on here, and if you look at this guy at the back, it's an African belt plant. It belongs to the Kalancho air family, as does this one. It's, would you believe, it's called Red red Lips. Give us a kiss, then. Moving about here, if you look down at this guy, it's a cactus, because I've spoken about the pin cushion. You see these spike or pin air cushions that are coming out of it. Let's look at this smaller chap. That is a Madagascan palm. But you see again, it is a cactus because it's got these pins coming out of that cushion. Let's look at some more of these guys. Here, I've got a Mexican hen and chickens plant. Here, these are quite common. Can you see this type of leaf? It's got different shades of green and pale green and yellows etc and it's a variegated variegated Caribbean agave. Let's look at these two spiky chaps next. See this one? It's an aloe family member and this is another aloe family uh, member. This one's got these extremely curved ends and would you believe it, it's a fish hook alone, as opposed to this guy is a corn cob. Let's look at this little chap now. He's a strange chap. Notice that he's green and red. And what if that, in fact it is, it is a cactus on the top has been grafted onto this one and this one is red because the type of cactus doesn't contain the green chlorophyll pigment often this moon cactus you find it is orange yellow or red almost there this is a succulent and it's supposed to bring you good luck and would you believe it's called a good look plant. The final two succulents, and like I've said several times before, these have only been here now for six months, is this one is fire sticks. By the way, it's green because in the sun it would turn red. And the final one I've got here is chalk sticks, blue chalk sticks. These plants grow, grow according to the size of the pot. So if I've got small pots, small plants, these guys at the back, big pots, big plants. The only curd that you need is half a cup of water, maybe a month. And as they get bigger, maybe you need to uh, secure them with a plant prop or a sturdy stake. And for all those people who have seen my films before, I always say this, keep your fingers green and happy gardening.